I've done a lot of launches over the years, but I learn something new every single time. I just finished one up and here are my biggest takeaways. If you are new here, hi, I'm Louise. Here on this channel, I share all my best tips and tricks for creating a more leveraged, passive online business. So if that sounds amazing to you, definitely hit subscribe down below. The first lesson is that live performs way better than pre-recorded. And I know this because I just tested this. For my last launch, I did pre-recorded, and for this one, I did live, and the results speak for themselves and tell me that live is the way to go. Now, I still want you to have pre-recorded sales systems in your business, but for when you're doing a larger launch, I think it's worth it to put in the energy and show up live for your audience. We actually came up with what I think is the perfect schedule. I've tried many variations of this over the years, and this is the one that I love and now will highly recommend to you. So I'm gonna put this on screen here. Here is the schedule. If you want a copy of this, click the link in the description below and I will send it to you. So it was a free four day challenge and each day I would go live for the lesson and I would stay on for a Q and A and answer as many questions as I possibly could. This was great. It was really fun. I felt I was genuinely able to connect with people and provide tons and tons of value. And overall, the vibe was just so good because of that. So then on day four, I announced a special offer for my online course, Passive Profit Accelerator, which shows you how to create your own successful online course. So we announced a special offer and then we had a bonus expiring the next day at midnight. So I really liked this. It wasn't like too rushed of a decision for anyone and they had time to review the offer, everything that was included and really determine whether it was a good fit for them. So this felt really good to me and that expired the Friday at midnight. Now with a challenge, generally it's really normal for engagement to drop off significantly once the challenge was over and we really didn't want that. So this time we added in daily bonus trainings and I'm so happy that we did that. It really helped the momentum keep going and allowed me to keep talking about PPA and why I think it's going to be so life-changing. Because even though that bonus expired on the Friday, we were still promoting this special limited time offer until the Tuesday at midnight. So I didn't want it to just be like crickets and no fun, no added value. So yeah, this schedule totally worked. It didn't feel too long or too draining. So I'd highly recommend it and grab that file down below. So obviously there are a lot of different ways to launch, but personally I love challenges. I think you will as well. So that's why I'm sharing that. Another thing we did that I would recommend you do is on day one, just be super open with people that yes, a special offer is going to come on the last day and they can be excited about that, but that the week itself is not just going to be an extended sales pitch and it's going to be super valuable whether they decide to join you for that next step or not. So I did this and then it just felt like everything was super open and transparent and we were able to just show up and provide tons of value during the week, which felt really good. And so it's overall a really positive experience, which is what you want. You don't just want it to be like something that's good for sales. You want it to be good for just connecting with your community, for providing tons of value and a good experience, whether they come and join you or not. Now, obviously there's a lot of moving pieces to a launch. So I would recommend that you schedule as much as you can ahead of time. So we did that with all of our emails and social posts in the Facebook group and on Instagram. And so that way I could just focus on being present and putting my energy towards what I was teaching and what I was sharing. So yeah, we've done that for the most part because you guys know I love Asana. And so that's part of the benefit of using it is that you can get things really organized and you can execute this way. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to help, especially if you're looking at the schedule and thinking, oh my gosh, that's so overwhelming. <laughs> okay, now that being said, it's really important to protect your energy. So there was so many times throughout this launch 
where, yeah, I could have done more. Like during a launch, there's always more you could do. There's always like someone you could reach out to. There's always another like bonus live that you could do or a collab or something to help build up momentum of that launch. But honestly, you got to know when to just be like, I've done enough today. We're good. I'm going, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> now I want to share a lesson about the content you share in your launch or your challenge. So I'm really practical and sometimes I can just be like, well, here's the steps like do, 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 you know, do the thing. And instead, in order for someone to be ready to take your course, there's probably a lot of mindset blocks and shifts that they need to go through in order to actually be ready for that. So this time we added so much more mindset in there. I was really trying to think about my ideal client and what they ultimately wanted for themselves and then what could be getting in the way of that. And so, yeah, that was put through each of the days. So there was a combination of the practical how to's, but then the mindset. And I think that really, really helped. And that improved our conversion rate this time for sure. Because ultimately the underlying strategy of a launch or a challenge is you are helping people get closer to the point of being able to work with you inside your online course. And finally, I have two little mindset pieces that came up for me during this launch. The first was that going into this, there was so much external noise about things not working like they used to be and like challenges and launching just not working and it really, it really stressed me out. And then we went ahead and we did it. We had a successful challenge. We had our highest conversion rate ever. So obviously like that wasn't the case. So I think we need to be super careful about what information and other people's fears we're taking into account before we go into something like this. So yeah, things are always shifting. But I think those core things in business that we do, like hosting free trainings and launches, they still work. If anything, in 2023, you just have to be a stronger marketer than ever. And your messaging really has to call out your ideal clients specifically and connect with them. But if you're doing all of that, it all still works. And don't let that external negativity get you down. Okay. And finally, if you find that your numbers are low, throughout the challenge, do not let it mean anything. So, you know, because I know all these numbers of marketing, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this sign up rate is low and okay, the show up rate here is low and you can really like overanalyze it. So what you don't want to do is judge the results before your launch honestly is over. It's really hard to do, but I actually put in our notes as a team before going into this, I put, we'll judge it on Wednesday. So yes, we kept notes throughout it. So I had all of that data, but I was just like, okay, and we'll see, we'll see how it performs. And we will wait until Wednesday until we judge this. So even if you're doing your challenge and you feel like no one's paying attention, I want you to keep showing up as though they are, okay, a few lives I did, I had maybe like three people on, and of course I could have let my mind judge what that meant, but then so many people would watch the replay and leave comments. So even if you feel like no one is watching the videos, for example, keep showing up as though they are. You don't know how many people are watching quietly, are watching the replay, or are simply just loving your energy and they're going to come and join you in your course anyways, okay? so write that little note for yourself as well. <laughs> Wait until the day after the special offer ends to judge how it all went. And remember, it is just one launch of many. This launch does not mean anything for your future results, your capability as an entrepreneur. Okay. It's just one little promotion that you're doing. All right, guys, those are my launch lessons. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments down below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you real soon with another video.